Welcome to another episode of Rithu the Explorer Travel Vlog. In this episode, we will explore the rich history and diverse cultural treasures housed within one of the world's most iconic institutions. Join us as we delve into the British Museum's fascinating offerings, nestled in the heart of London. We boarded a train from York to London, enjoying a journey that typically spans around two to two and a half hours. Upon arrival at King's Cross Station, we took a taxi to our hotel. Despite the check-in time being several hours away, we were determined not to let the day go to waste. Therefore, we decided to store our luggage in the hotel's luggage room and proceeded with our plan to visit the British Museum intending to check in afterwards. Our hotel, Premier Inn, is conveniently situated near the London King's Cross Railway Station. It's within walking distance of both the London King's Cross Station and St. Pancras International, making it incredibly accessible for travelers arriving by train. We opted for a taxi ride to the British Museum, enjoying the iconic experience of traveling in a black taxi, also known as a hackney or hackney carriage, or London taxi synonymous with London itself. The spaciousness and modern technology, including the sunroof, never fail to impress us. It's a tradition we cherish whenever we visit London, even though we're mindful that the fares are slightly higher compared to Uber cabs. Black taxi drivers in London are renowned for their exceptional knowledge of the city's streets, landmarks, and attractions. This knowledge is often referred to as the knowledge, and it's a testament to the rigorous training and testing that London taxi drivers undergo to earn their license. To become a licensed black taxi driver in London, individuals must pass the Knowledge of London examination, which requires them to memorize and navigate through thousands of streets and locations. This process typically takes several years of intense study and practice. Upon arriving at the British Museum, we were impressed by the modern amenities available in the London taxi, including the convenience of card payment facilities, This technological feature streamlined our journey, ensuring a hassle-free and efficient payment process. It exemplified how traditional modes of transportation seamlessly integrate modern conveniences to enhance the overall passenger experience. The British Museum in London is an absolute must-visit. Seriously, you won't regret it. This place is like a treasure trove of history and culture, and it's just waiting for you to explore. Trust me, there's something for everyone here. Once you step inside, you're greeted by an impressive collection of artifacts from all corners of the world. From ancient Egyptian mummies to Greek sculptures and everything in between, it's a feast for the eyes. You'll feel like you've traveled back in time. But what really makes the British Museum special is the way it tells stories. Each exhibit has its own tale to tell, and it's fascinating to uncover the secrets that these artifacts hold. Whether you're into ancient civilizations or more recent history, you'll find yourself completely engrossed in the narratives. Oh, and did I mention that it's free? That's right, admission is free of charge, so you can soak up all the knowledge and history without worrying about breaking the bank. 
Plus, there are regular temporary exhibitions that bring even more excitement to the museum. As it was already lunchtime, we opted to dine at the Pizzeria, conveniently situated within the British Museum. To start, we savored a rich hot chocolate paired with a slice of carrot cake. Then, we had a pepperoni pizza for our main course. The British Museum, located in the heart of London, stands as a beacon of cultural heritage, housing a vast collection of artifacts and treasures from civilizations spanning thousands of years. Established in 1753, it is one of the world's oldest and most prestigious museums, drawing millions of visitors annually. The museum's origins trace back to the collection of Sir Hans Sloan, a physician and naturalist, whose vast assortment of specimens formed the foundation of the institution. Over the centuries, the museum expanded exponentially through acquisitions, donations, and archaeological expeditions, solidifying its status as a premier repository of human history and culture. The British Museum boasts an unparalleled collection, spanning diverse cultures and civilizations from every corner of the globe. From the Rosetta Stone and the Elgin Marbles to the Egyptian mummies and the Parthenon sculptures, the museum's exhibits offer a comprehensive journey through the annals of human civilization. Visitors can explore artifacts from ancient Mesopotamia, Greece, Rome, Asia, Africa, the Americas, and beyond, providing a captivating glimpse into the richness and diversity of world cultures. The journey through the ancient Egyptian collection begins here. The ancient Egyptian collection at the British Museum in London is one of the most extensive and renowned collections of ancient Egyptian artifacts outside of Egypt itself. Spanning over 5,000 years of history, this collection offers a fascinating glimpse into the civilization that flourished along the banks of the Nile River. The British Museum's ancient Egyptian collection owes much of its richness to the pioneering work of early archaeologists and collectors. Among the most notable figures is Sir Hans Sloan, whose acquisition of ancient Egyptian artifacts laid the foundation for the museum's collection. Subsequent expeditions, excavations, and acquisitions expanded the collection, with notable contributions from explorers such as Belzoni, Petrie, and Carter. The ancient Egyptian collection at the British Museum boasts a wealth of iconic artifacts, including mummies, sarcophagi, monumental sculptures, and everyday objects. Among the highlights is the Rosetta Stone, a crucial artifact that played a pivotal role in deciphering ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Discovered in 1799 near the town of Rosetta, Rashid, Egypt, the stone is inscribed with a decree issued by King Ptolemy V in 196 BCE. What makes the Rosetta Stone so significant is that the decree is written in three scripts, hieroglyphs, Demotic script, and Greek, allowing scholars to decipher the ancient Egyptian writing system by comparing the known Greek text with the unknown hieroglyphs and Demotic script. This breakthrough in understanding ancient Egyptian language and culture opened up new avenues of research and study, making the Rosetta Stone one of the most iconic artifacts in the history of archaeology and linguistics. Today, the Rosetta Stone is housed in the British Museum in London, where it continues to fascinate and educate visitors from around the world. The colossal granite statue of Ramesses II, known as the Younger Memnon, is another standout piece, commanding attention with its imposing presence. The false door and architrave of Ptahshepsis is an ancient Egyptian artifact housed in the British Museum. Ptahshepsis was a high-ranking official during the reign of Pharaoh Nusere Ini, who ruled during the 5th dynasty of the Old Kingdom period, circa 2416, 2392 BCE. The false door was a common feature in Egyptian tombs, 
believed to serve as a portal between the world of the living and the afterlife. It was thought to allow the deceased's ka, or life force, to enter and exit the tomb to receive offerings from the living. The false door of Ptashepsis is intricately carved with hieroglyphic inscriptions and depictions of Ptashepsis seated at a table of offerings. The architrave, or lintel, is another component of Ptashepsis' tomb decoration. It is adorned with further hieroglyphic inscriptions detailing Ptashepsis' titles and roles within the royal court. These artifacts provide valuable insights into the religious beliefs and funerary practices of ancient Egypt, as well as the social status and importance of individuals like Ptashepsis within Egyptian society. Visitors can marvel at intricately decorated coffins, mummy masks, and amulets, each offering clues about the religious and cultural practices of the ancient Egyptians. Another highlight of the ancient Egyptian collection is the presence of numerous examples of the Book of the Dead, a series of funerary texts designed to guide the deceased through the afterlife. These beautifully illustrated papyri depict scenes of judgment, resurrection, and the journey to the underworld, providing a captivating glimpse into ancient Egyptian cosmology and spirituality. One of the most intriguing aspects of the ancient Egyptian collection is its extensive holdings of mummies and funerary objects. These artifacts provide invaluable insights into ancient Egyptian beliefs about death, the afterlife, and the process of mummification. Visitors can marvel at intricately decorated coffins, mummy masks, and amulets, each offering clues about the religious and cultural practices of the ancient Egyptians. The next exhibition was focused on the Middle East. Within the British Museum in London, a notable collection of Assyrian sculpture and artifacts is proudly displayed, featuring the iconic Balawat Gates. These artifacts provide valuable insights into the vibrant history and culture of the ancient Assyrian civilization. The Assyrian Empire, centered in Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, flourished during the first millennium BCE, and its artistry and military might are vividly depicted in the sculptures housed at the British Museum. Among the most striking pieces are colossal winged human-headed bulls known as Lamassu, which guarded the entrances to Assyrian palaces. These imposing guardians symbolized protection and strength, embodying the power of the Assyrian kings. One of the highlights of the Assyrian collection at the British Museum is the Balawat Gates. These monumental gates originally adorned the palace of King Shalmaneser III in the ancient city of Imgur Enlil, modern-day Balawat, Iraq. The Balawat gates are crafted from cedar wood and feature elaborate reliefs embossed on bronze sheets. These reliefs depict scenes of royal conquests, religious rituals, and tribute-bearing processions, offering a captivating glimpse into the grandeur of the Assyrian court. In this exhibit, visitors will encounter two colossal winged human-headed lions that once guarded the entrance to the royal palace of King Ashurnasirpal II, 883-859 BC, 
at Nimrud. Additionally, they will behold a towering standing lion that once adorned the entrance to the nearby temple of Ishtar, the goddess of war. The next exhibition was focused on Ancient Greece and Rome. The exhibit of Ancient Greece and Rome at the British Museum in London is a treasure trove of ancient artifacts that offers a captivating journey through the civilizations of Ancient Greece and Rome. Highlights of the collection include iconic sculptures such as the Parthenon marbles, also known as the Elgin marbles, which were once part of the Parthenon Temple atop the Acropolis in Athens. These exquisite sculptures, depicting scenes from Greek mythology and everyday life, are a testament to the skill and craftsmanship of ancient Greek artists. The British Museum's grand neoclassical facade, designed by architect Sir Robert Smirk, is a testament to the institution's prestige and significance. Inside, the Great Court, enclosed by a magnificent glass roof, serves as the museum's centerpiece, offering a breathtaking space for reflection and contemplation. The museum's galleries, arranged thematically and chronologically, provide a seamless journey through time and space, enhancing the visitor experience. Visitors to the British Museum can enjoy a wide range of amenities, including guided tours, audio guides, educational programs, and special exhibitions. The museum's shops and cafes offer opportunities for relaxation and refreshment amidst the exploration of its vast collections. Additionally, the museum is committed to accessibility, with facilities and services catering to visitors of all ages and abilities. The British Museum stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of human creativity, ingenuity, and cultural expression. Through its vast collections and educational initiatives, it continues to inspire and enlighten visitors from around the world, fostering a deeper understanding and appreciation of our shared heritage. The British Museum houses a diverse and extensive collection of artifacts from Asia, spanning thousands of years of history and representing the rich cultural heritage of the continent. The Asian collection at the British Museum includes objects from a wide range of regions and cultures, from the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia and Persia to the vibrant cultures of China, Japan, India, and Southeast Asia. One of the highlights of the Asian collection is the extensive holdings of Chinese art and artifacts, including porcelain, jade, bronze, and paintings. These objects showcase the artistic achievements of China's long and illustrious history, from the exquisite pottery of the Neolithic period to the refined porcelain of the Ming and Qing dynasties. The Japanese collection at the British Museum includes a diverse array of objects, including samurai armor, woodblock prints, and ceramics. These artifacts offer insights into the rich cultural traditions and artistic innovations of Japan, from the elegant aesthetics of tea ceremony utensils to the dramatic imagery of kabuki theater. The Southeast Asian collection at the British Museum includes artifacts from countries such as Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Indonesia. These objects reflect the cultural exchanges and artistic traditions of the region. From the elaborate temple sculptures of Angkor Wat to the intricate gold jewelry of the Javanese courts. The British Museum is home to a significant collection of artifacts from the ancient Indus Valley civilization, one of the world's earliest urban civilizations that thrived in the northwestern regions of the Indian subcontinent around 2600 to 1900 BCE. The collection includes a diverse range of objects that provide valuable insights into the daily life, culture, and technology of the Indus people. Among the highlights are intricately carved seals made of steatite, a soft stone, which feature distinctive motifs such as animals, humans, and geometric designs. These seals are believed to have been used for trade and administrative purposes, and they offer clues about the Indus script, which remains undeciphered to this day. The collection also provides details about the dancing girl of Mohenjo-daro.
The collection also encompasses exhibits from South Indian megalithic burial sites and the Nilgiris Hills culture of South India. Additionally, it features artifacts such as the Mathura Lion Capital, an Indo-Scythian sandstone capital, a part of a pillar, from Mathura in northern India. The collection further highlights Buddhism in Gandhara, Gupta art and architecture, sculptures from the Kajuraho Temple, Jain Tirthankaras, stone bracket figures from Hoyasala temples, Decorative bands from the Keshava Temple at Sumnathpur in Karnataka. And artifacts ranging from the Mughal dynasty to the Himalayas. Tibetan plateaus, and Odisha. The British Museum is renowned for its comprehensive collection of ancient artifacts, including those from the ancient Buddhist site of Amaravathi. Located in present-day Andhra Pradesh, India, Amaravathi was once a flourishing center of Buddhist art and culture during the 2nd century BCE to the 3rd century CE. The collection at the British Museum includes a diverse array of sculptures, friezes, and architectural fragments from Amaravathi, Additionally, the British Museum features exhibits on Sikhism, showcasing its rich cultural and religious heritage. Furthermore, narrative traditions and storytelling are highlighted through various displays and artifacts. an interactive session featuring Jawaharlal Nehru's iconic Tryst with Destiny speech from 1947 was also displayed. 
The museum's collections are vast and diverse, making it unlikely that we'll be able to explore everything in a single day. We proceeded to the next section. The next exhibition we encountered was titled Living and Dying. This gallery delves into the universal experiences of life and death, exploring how cultures worldwide navigate these fundamental aspects of existence. The display offers insights into various approaches to maintaining health and well-being, showcasing diverse perspectives from indigenous communities around the globe. Included in the exhibit are artifacts and traditions from indigenous communities in Australia, Maori community in New Zealand, communities from Peru, the Andean world, and Amazonia. These displays provide a fascinating glimpse into the unique customs, beliefs, and practices surrounding life and death in different cultures. We were also privileged to see the Hoa Hakananaya, a Moai meaning ancestor figure found on Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui. Carved from volcanic tuff, this imposing statue stands approximately 2.5 meters tall and weighs around 4 tons. It is distinguished by its intricate carvings and distinctive features, including prominent brows, a long nose, and elongated ears. The name Hoa Hakananaya translates to lost or stolen friend in the Rapa Nui language, reflecting the mystery surrounding the statue's origins and its significance to the island's indigenous people. It is believed to have been created by the early inhabitants of Easter Island between the 11th and 17th centuries CE. After exploring the various collections, we found ourselves unsure of what to see next. Returning to the Queen Elizabeth II Great Court, we sought out the museum map to help guide our next steps. Suddenly, a friendly volunteer approached us, offering assistance. Initially surprised, we soon realized that she was a part of the British Museum's staff, there to help visitors like us navigate the vast museum. In response to her inquiry about what we had seen so far, we mentioned our interest in exploring more of the museum's history and collections. Without hesitation, the volunteer suggested visiting two key galleries, the Enlightenment Gallery, Room 1, and the Collecting the World Gallery, Room 2. She explained that the Enlightenment Gallery focuses on the 18th century, a time of profound intellectual and scientific advancements, as well as the expansion of European colonialism. As for the Collecting the World Gallery, she described how it offers insight into the growth of the museum's collection from the 18th century to the present day. This gallery showcases the stories behind some of the museum's most treasured artifacts and the individuals who played a role in acquiring them. Grateful for her guidance, we eagerly followed the volunteer to Room 1, where we immersed ourselves in the wonders of the Enlightenment era. Then, we made our way to Room 2, captivated by the stories of exploration and discovery that unfolded before us. Thanks to the helpful volunteer, our museum visit took on a new level of depth and insight enriching our experience in unexpected ways. In Room 1, the Enlightenment Gallery, visitors have the unique opportunity to engage with history firsthand by touching a replica of the Rosetta Stone. This iconic artifact, revered for its pivotal role in deciphering ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, holds significant importance in understanding the language and culture of ancient Egypt. The replica allows visitors to experience the texture and intricacies of the stone's surface, providing a tactile connection to this remarkable piece of history. By touching the replica, visitors can gain a deeper appreciation for the Rosetta Stone's significance and the ingenuity of the scholars who unlocked its secrets. This interactive experience adds another dimension to the museum visit, allowing visitors to engage with the past in a tangible and immersive way.
The Grenville Room in the British Museum is not only a tranquil space for visitors to rest and reflect, but also home to a charming gift shop offering a worldly collection of books, jewelry, and replica sculptures. Situated within the museum's iconic Great Court, the Grenville Room gift shop provides an opportunity for visitors to browse and purchase unique souvenirs inspired by the museum's vast collections. Whether seeking a memento of their visit or searching for the perfect gift for friends and family, guests can find a diverse array of items to suit every taste and interest. Next, we decided to explore the British Museum Souvenir Shop, eager to browse through the wide array of unique items available. As we entered the shop, we were greeted by shelves filled with an eclectic selection of souvenirs, ranging from postcards and books to replica artifacts and jewelry inspired by the museum's collections. As we made our selections and proceeded to the checkout, we couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and anticipation, eager to share our museum experience with others through the souvenir we had chosen. With our purchases in hand, we left the shop, knowing that we had found the perfect memento to commemorate our time at the British Museum. So, if you're looking for a place to immerse yourself in history and discover amazing artifacts from around the world, look no further than the British Museum. It's a gem in the heart of London that will leave you inspired and in awe. Around 4.30 in the evening, we made our way back to our hotel. Upon arrival, we retrieved our luggage from the hotel's luggage room and proceeded to check in. After a day filled with exploration and discovery at the British Museum, it was a relief to finally settle into our accommodations and unwind. In today's episode, we delved into the captivating world of the British Museum, uncovering its rich history and cultural significance as a landmark in London. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and exploration. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating stories behind the museum's treasures. Be sure to stay tuned for our next episode and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on our latest adventures.